cloaked in plain dress and traversing in horse-drawn buggies, the Amish community embodies a world seemingly frozen in time. Yet individuals like Emma Gingerich, Kate Stoltz, and Lizzie Enns have chosen to break away, leaving behind everything, family, traditions, and a life of seclusion. Join us as we explore these riveting tales of defiance and the quest for freedom in 15 shocking stories of people who left the Amish community. Number 15. Kate Stoltz. Kate Stoltz's journey from an Amish farm to the fashion runways of New York City is a tale of courage and self-discovery. Born Kate Stoltzfus on January 1, 1991, Kate grew up as the middle child among seven siblings in a traditional Amish family. Her early years were spent working on the family farm, but it was her skill in sewing garments for her family that sparked her first interests in fashion. Kate first stepped into the spotlight with the reality TV series Breaking Amish and its spin-offs Breaking Amish Brave New World and Return to Amish. These shows documented her bold decision to leave her community and pursue dreams that were once unimaginable for an Amish woman. Moving to New York City, Kate dove headfirst into the world of modeling, working with notable brands like Union Bay and Spiegel, and even featuring in Maxim magazine in July 2013. However, Kate's new path wasn't without its challenges. As the daughter of an Amish church minister, she faced immense pressure and potential backlash, especially regarding her participation in lingerie shoots. Despite the disapproval and the stark departure from Amish modesty and simplicity, Kate pursued her passion relentlessly. Her determination led her to the prestigious Fashion Institute of Technology in New York. Here, Kate not only honed her design skills, but also interned with renowned designers like Jason Wu and Cynthia Rowley. Eventually, she launched her own fashion label, Kate Stoltz NYC, which emphasizes sustainability and minimal ecological impact, showcasing her commitment to environmentally conscious fashion. Today, at 33, Kate maintains a strong yet complex relationship with her family. They still hope for her return, but Kate is resolute, grateful for their acceptance, despite their differences. Number 14. Milo Miller Milo Miller's journey from the Amish community to a new life in the outside world is a story marked by bold decisions and a desire for freedom. Growing up in Ohio in a large family with six brothers and five sisters, Milo's life was deeply rooted in Amish traditions, where modern conveniences were eschewed for a life of simplicity and hard work. However, beneath this seemingly peaceful existence lay a growing unrest and a yearning for something different. On what seemed like a typical day, Milo woke up, did his chores, and had breakfast with his family. Little did they know, it was the last day he would spend as a part of the Amish community. That evening, as he milked the cows, Milo knew it would be the last time he performed this task by hand. Excitement and anticipation filled him as he planned his escape. Later that night in 2000, after his father unusually delayed coming home, Milo seized the opportunity. He quietly packed, whispered his plans to his younger brother, and slipped out through his brother's bedroom window. With a heavy heart, he left behind everything familiar and ran down the road to freedom, never looking back. Milo's escape led him to Sarasota, Florida, where he encountered the outside world in full force. From seeing a lizard for the first time to experiencing the vast array of technologies and lifestyles previously unknown to him. This transition was exhilarating, yet terrifying. He navigated his new life with the help of his cousin, who provided shelter and arranged for his first job, despite the legal challenges of being under 18. The move was not just a physical escape, but also a cultural shock. Everything was new and different, including the need for a social security number, a concept foreign to someone raised in an Amish community where such identifiers were rejected as the mark of the beast. Milo's story didn't end with his escape, it was just the beginning. He bravely adapted to his new environment, 
taking jobs and eventually moving back to Ohio for a while. Through it all, he maintained secret contact with his brother, supporting him until he too decided to leave the Amish life behind. Today, Milo shares his experiences on social media, hoping to educate others about the realities of Amish life and the challenges faced by those who choose to leave it. Number 13. Levi Shetler Levi Shetler's path to independence began at 15, driven by his passion for trucks, a stark contrast to his Amish upbringing. His older brother's departure from the community at 17 showed Levi the challenges and possibilities of leaving. Inspired, Levi moved to Ohio, spending his first night in a barn, a humble beginning to his new life. He quickly found work in construction and started attending church with his cousin, embracing the freedoms of his new environment. However, this new life came with sacrifices. Reuniting with his brother was a joy, but his relationship with the rest of his family suffered, with visits home restricted and conversations carefully monitored. Levi also faced social isolation, as old Amish friends ignored his attempts to reach out. Despite these challenges, Levi cherishes his newfound independence and freely indulges in his passion for mini trucks, liberated from the strict confines of his upbringing. Number 12. Lizzie Enns At 36, Lizzie Enns' life is a striking contrast to her upbringing in one of the strictest Amish communities, the Schwarzentruber Amish. Leaving at 19, Lizzie embarked on a journey that not only changed her life, but now captivates her 183,000 TikTok followers with tales from her past. Lizzie grew up in an environment where modern conveniences were unheard of. The community rejected indoor plumbing, milking machines, and even communal phone booths, adhering strictly to horse-drawn buggies and wood-fired ovens. This regimented lifestyle extended to rejecting daylight savings time and limiting water access to windmills and hand pumps. One of the most astonishing facts about her life, which Lizzie shared in a viral TikTok video, is her family size. Lizzie is one of 19 children, including three sets of twins, and she herself is a twin. Her mother delivered each child naturally, a feat that astounds many. But there's more to Lizzie's story than her large family. She grew up trilingual, speaking Pennsylvania Dutch, German, and English. This linguistic capability is a testament to the complex identity that many outside the Amish community might not expect. When she left, stepping into a world vastly different from her own, Lizzie faced the challenge of integrating into a society where she initially didn't even possess a social security number. Starting with just $20 to her name, Lizzie's journey from a strict Amish upbringing to becoming a nutrition coach and a social media influencer is nothing short of remarkable. Number 11. Saloma Miller Furlong At the tender age of 20, faced with the daunting prospect of her own demise, Saloma chose life over the oppressive shadows of her upbringing in Ohio. Haunted by physical abuse from her father and mistreatment from an older brother, Saloma found her only refuge in school, which became a sanctuary amidst the chaos at home. Her journey took a pivotal turn when she realized that staying would mean succumbing to a life of despair. In a bold move to escape, she ran away to Vermont at 20, even changing her name to Linda to hide her identity. This marked the beginning of a profound transformation as Saloma sought extensive therapy to heal from her traumatic past. Despite her limited eighth grade education, Saloma's resilience shone through. She went on to earn her GED certificate, took courses at a community college, and eventually became an Ada Comstock scholar at Smith College. Her academic pursuits didn't stop there. She spent a semester at the University of Hamburg in Germany, and impressively, at the age of 50, she graduated with a major in German studies and a minor in philosophy. Saloma's extraordinary life and insights into the Amish community have been shared widely, featuring in two PBS American Experience documentaries titled The Amish and The Amish Shunned. She has also captured her poignant journey through her writing, 
She is the author of several impactful books, including Why I Left the Amish, where she recounts her experiences of growing up in a restrictive Amish household, detailing the struggles and abuse she endured. In her follow-up, Bonnet Strings, An Amish Woman's Ties to Two Worlds, Saloma explores her transition from the Amish community to modern society, highlighting the challenges and triumphs of adapting to a new way of life. Number 10. Levi Mast Levi Mast's story unfolds from the heart of an old order Amish community in New Wilmington, where he cherished the simplicity of living off the land and the strong work ethic instilled from a young age. However, Levi's home life was far from idyllic, shadowed by a troubled relationship with his parents, his mother battling severe mental illness and his father's abusive nature. As Levi grew, so did his yearnings for a different path, spurred by a profound moment when a friend introduced him to the Bible in English. Understanding God's word in a new light, Levi realized that salvation wasn't a product of good deeds, but faith. This revelation led him to make a decisive break from his community to live a life aligned with his newfound faith. Levi's departure was not a grand gesture, but a quiet resolve. One day, after heading to work, he chose not to return, fully aware of the repercussions that would follow. His previous attempt to leave had been thwarted by the community's bishop, who had him briefly committed to an Amish psychiatric home. But this time, Levi was resolute, bolstered by the support of friends and notably three men, Eli, Aaron, and David, who stood by him during his transition. The aftermath of Levi's departure was marred by strife. His family, under the sway of the community, turned against him, influencing his children to view him as evil and deranged. The emotional toll of these accusations was compounded by a contentious legal battle for his children's custody, where he fought against the falsehoods perpetuated by his wife and the Amish leadership. Despite these challenges, Levi found solace and strength in his new life outside the Amish community. He relishes the simple joys of freedom, from obtaining his driver's license to planning travels. More importantly, Levi is dedicated to helping others who have suffered similar fates within the Amish community, drawing from his own experiences of mental, physical, and spiritual abuse to guide them towards safety and spiritual fulfillment. At 43, Levi's journey continues to unfold, marked by recent victories like securing weekend visits with his children, time he cherishes, filled with activities like skating and bowling. Number 9. Emma Jingerich Emma Jingerich's story begins in the restrictive Schwarzentruber Amish community in Missouri, known for its conservative practices and minimal modern conveniences. Here, Emma's life was predefined by the stringent rules that banned electricity and running water. But it was the peculiar Amish dating customs that bewildered her the most. Imagine, on Saturday nights, a young man would be sent to her room to stay overnight as part of their courtship ritual, despite the ban on premarital intimacy. This pushed Emma to question the very essence of love and compatibility as dictated by her community. By the age of 18, Emma reached her breaking point. Armed with a cell phone secretly gifted by a rebellious friend, she plotted her escape. On a cold January day in 2006, precisely at half past 12 in the afternoon, Emma took off her bonnet, left a heartfelt note for her parents, and walked 3.7 miles to the nearest town. There, she called a non-Amish acquaintance who offered her a temporary home. Transitioning to life in Harlingen, Texas, was a dramatic shift. From cooking for a family of 16 to learning to live alone, Emma embraced new challenges like making tortillas and navigating her new English life. She completed her GED and earned a college degree. Today, Emma works and is pursuing an MBA in business. However, leaving the Amish community brought significant emotional tolls including depression from culture shock and familial estrangement. Despite these struggles, Emma has firmly decided against returning to her previous life. Number 8. Eddie Swartzentruber 
On a frigid night in Harmony, Minnesota, 17-year-old Eddie Swartzentruber made a daring escape from his Amish community. Running down the gravel road, he left behind everything familiar. He recounted feeling quite scared, yet driven by a belief that things would somehow work out. His flight on January 18, 2014, marked the start of a new chapter. Today, at 25, Eddie lives in Rochester, Minnesota, where he has built a new life that includes running a business and sharing his unique journey with millions on TikTok. His platform has become a hub for the curious and the questioning, drawing in viewers eager to learn about the secretive Amish lifestyle. Eddie answers a wide range of questions, from, do Amish men shave? to, can you get divorced in the Amish community? He tackles these inquiries with a blend of seriousness and humor, sometimes joking about how he was corrupted and drawing comparisons between the Amish community and cults. What sets Eddie apart is his dedication to helping others contemplating a similar departure from the Amish lifestyle. He emphasizes his commitment to support, reflecting on the unpredictable struggles people face. His TikTok bio, Everything Worthwhile is Uphill, mirrors the resilience that has defined his journey. Despite the complete transformation of his life, Eddie retains a special affection for the farm and community he once called home. He remains convinced that leaving was the right decision, not just for his own freedom, but for the opportunity to guide others on their path to a new beginning. Number 7. Mose Gingerick Born on July 27, 1979, Mose was raised in an Old Order Amish family in Greenwood, Wisconsin. He was the ninth of 13 siblings living on a vast 255-acre farm. Despite a childhood filled with rigorous farm duties, Mose found a gateway to other worlds through books. Classics like Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn shaped his early literary tastes and sparked a passion for reading. Throughout his adolescence, Moses' family moved across Amish communities in Wisconsin, Iowa, Missouri, and Kansas. At the age of 19, he took on the role of a schoolteacher, teaching grades 1 through 8 in a one-room schoolhouse. After four years of teaching, on July 3, 2002, Mose made a life-altering decision to leave his Amish community. This bold step led to his excommunication, severing ties with his family and the life he knew. Although he still holds faith in God, he stepped away from church attendance and remains guarded about his past to protect the Amish community's reputation. One vivid memory from his youth was receiving a battery-operated radio, which introduced him to the world of country music. His secret enjoyment of music, however, wasn't without consequences. Once discovered, it led to harsh punishment and a six-month period of self-imposed exile. Returning to the community, Mose tried to conform by resuming his role as a teacher, yet his dreams were elsewhere. His participation in the reality TV show Amish in the City showcased his experiences during Rumspringa in Hollywood, including a near-drowning incident during his first ocean swim that marked a turning point. Today, Mose lives in Colombia, where he mentors Amish youth who are making their transitions into the mainstream or English world. His basement has become a sanctuary for over 20 young men, providing them with guidance as they navigate the challenges of forging new paths outside their Amish roots. Number 6. Enos Miller Born as the eighth child to experienced parents, Enos grew up in a setting steeped in tradition, where life was simple and values were deeply ingrained. However, his relationship with his family was complicated shadowed by his mother's severe mental illness and his father's harshness. At the age of 14, Enos began working in a parts shop, living a life of double standards common among Amish youth, outwardly conforming to the community while inwardly rejecting its teachings. His internal struggle culminated in a secretive departure, leaving his family without explanation, a decision he deeply regretted due to the pain it caused. As Enos navigated life away from the Amish, he encountered diverse experiences that gradually opened his eyes to the truths of the Bible. This spiritual awakening led him to embrace Christianity on a deeper level, realizing his need for salvation through Jesus Christ. 
Motivated by his newfound faith, Enos felt a divine urging to reconnect with his family, despite the doctrinal differences that made his return complex. After rejoining his family briefly and facing rejection from the Amish church due to his differing beliefs, Enos moved on to join a Mennonite church. Despite the ongoing estrangement and judgment from his father, Enos's journey took a touching turn when he felt compelled to write a letter to his father, discussing spiritual preparedness and questioning his father's reliance on his Amish identity over genuine faith. The response Enos received was unexpectedly warm but non-committal, failing to address the spiritual questions posed. Yet this correspondence became a cherished memory, especially after learning of his father's illness and subsequent passing. The news of his father's death brought Enos back to his family home, where his mother revealed a significant change in his father's final days. Prompted by Enos's letter, he had engaged with the Bible and expressed a readiness to pass on, showing a transformation that comforted Enos. Number 5. Misty Griffin Born into an Amish family, Misty was fully immersed in the community's traditions by age 10. Her early years were marked by severe isolation, exacerbated when she and her sister were sent to a remote mountain ranch at 11, effectively cutting them off from the world. By the time she was 19, Misty made a desperate attempt to escape the oppressive conditions of the ranch. However, her stepfather intervened, sending her to live within an Amish community. It was there, Misty faced the darkest aspect of her ordeal. She endured sexual abuse at the hands of the community's bishop and witnessed multiple incidents of abuse that were systematically ignored and unreported due to the community's insular nature. After three and a half years, Misty could no longer bear the trauma and the community's complicity in protecting abusers over victims. She bravely left the Amish, an act that propelled her from a life that felt anchored in the 1600s directly into the 21st century. This transition was incredibly challenging. She was shunned by her community, a painful ostracism that continues to this day. Despite these obstacles, Misty found crucial support from a relative who helped her obtain a passport, marking her first step towards integrating into modern society. Determined to prevent others from suffering as she did, Misty authored her memoir, Tears of the Silence, a poignant exploration of the child abuse endemic within Amish communities. Her efforts to educate the public on these hidden atrocities gained further validation when she learned that her sister and siblings had courageously reported their father's abuse, leading to his conviction and a 10-year prison sentence for the bishop responsible for her own abuse. Today, 12 years after her departure, Misty lives a life filled with opportunities she once thought unattainable. Her advocacy work continues to educate the public about child abuse, striving to prevent the atrocities she endured. Number 4. John Strock Growing up on a dairy farm with 11 siblings, John was deeply embedded in an environment where perfection was not just desired, but demanded. John stated that if they wanted to go to heaven, they had to be good Amish kids, so he tried to be the best. Despite his efforts, he never seemed to meet the exacting standards set by his father. The tension reached a breaking point following a bizarre and distressing incident involving his father. After John accused him of being prideful, his father demanded an unusual punishment, instructing John to spank him with a whip. This surreal moment of emotional turmoil was the catalyst for John's decision to leave. Driven by a desire to escape the emotional torment, John left a simple note with just two words, I left. He ventured into a new life, finding solace and a sense of belonging with an adoptive family, a man who had also left the Amish community 15 years earlier. Number 3. Jeremiah Raber Jeremiah Raber catapulted into the public eye as a cast member of the hit reality TV show Breaking Amish in 2012. This series thrust Jeremiah and his fellow cast members from their Amish and Mennonite roots straight into the bustling streets of New York City. 
Known for his bad boy persona, Jeremiah's journey on Breaking Amish, along with its spin-offs, Brave New World and Return to Amish, showcased his and others' decisive break from their traditional lifestyles to embrace the modern world. Jeremiah's life story adds layers of complexity to his on-screen persona. Taken from his biological mother when he was just nine months old, he was later adopted by an Amish family at the age of one and a half. His integration into the Amish community was fraught with challenges. He struggled to conform to its strict norms, much to his adopted mother's disappointment. This internal and familial conflict ultimately led to his estrangement from his adopted family. Despite growing up without technology, Jeremiah has become quite active on social media. His YouTube channel, which boasts over 8,000 subscribers, is a platform where he extends his reality TV persona into personal vlogs, Pennsylvania Dutch language lessons, and intimate reflections on his life. These videos provide his audience with a richer understanding of his transition from Amish life to a modern existence and the personal struggles that have shaped him. Through his candid revelations and media presence, Jeremiah Robber continues to engage fans and critics alike, navigating his new life while reflecting on his complex past. Number 2. Irma Mast Growing up Amish, Irma cherished the close-knit community, the simple lifestyle, and especially the connection with nature through her beloved animals. Life in such a setting was all she knew and loved until profound personal revelations set her on a new path. At 13, inspired by her mother's deep faith, Irma began exploring her own spiritual beliefs. This exploration led her to question the rigid Amish doctrine that closely tied salvation to adherence to church rules, a concept she found increasingly confusing as it didn't align with her personal understanding of faith. Despite her deep roots and strong familial ties, Irma felt a growing urge to follow her own spiritual convictions, which she felt were not fully compatible with the Amish way of life. After much deliberation, Irma decided to leave the Amish church. Her decision was met with surprise and shock by her family and community, but also with a respect that allowed her to transition smoothly out of her Amish life. She communicated openly with her parents and the community bishop about her decision, ensuring to maintain the strong relationships she valued. Adjusting to a new cultural environment presented its own set of challenges. Irma faced excommunication from her church, which meant she could no longer partake in communion and faced social ostracism at communal meals. Moreover, adapting to a society that emphasizes material consumption was another hurdle as she struggled with the societal pressure to own more and the personal stress it brought her. Despite these challenges, Irma found strength in maintaining boundaries and choosing to forgive those who ostracized her. She also sought out and eventually found a supportive community that accepted her for who she is, not just as someone from an Amish background. Number 1. Audrey In 2016, the OdysseyOnline.com shared a compelling story about an individual named Audrey, a pseudonym used to protect her identity while revealing her unique experience growing up in the Amish community. Audrey's narrative is deeply intertwined with her family's complex journey. Before Audrey was born, her mother battled addiction and found solace in the Amish community as a place of refuge and recovery. It was here that her mother met Audrey's father, drawing him into the community as their relationship flourished. Audrey's early life was marked by the simplicity and solidarity of Amish traditions, where she felt a sense of belonging despite the curious stares from outsiders. However, the seclusion eventually overwhelmed her mother, who decided to leave the Amish when Audrey was just 12 years old, with her father eventually following. This decision wasn't easy on the family, especially Audrey's older sister who initially struggled with the desire to return to the Amish lifestyle. The prospect of separation from her family, however, was too great, leading her to remain with her parents and Audrey outside the community. The transition was challenging. Audrey faced being shunned by those she grew up with, losing childhood friendships, and encountering isolation from those she once considered close. 
Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.